Hello, and welcome on behalf of everyone here at Lloyd Worrell. This short film will provide you with a brief introduction to our Interspec internal door set offer and guide you through our step-by-step -step site processes. We aim to show you how quick and simple it is to fit one of our door sets. Here at Lloyd Worrell, we aim to make your work on site as safe and as simple as possible, whilst ensuring that everything meets fully with our fire test certification. When Lloyd Worrell door sets arrive on site, the frames are packaged separately from the doors. They are flat packed, so moving and storing the doors on site is as simple and safe as possible. Our doors are loaded across the base of the delivery vehicle in order to minimise the risk of any damage in transit, so the site will need a fork truck with extended forks for unloading. The Interspec door set is a high performance internal door set, which arrives on site complete with all ironmongery and architraves. To make the task simple on site, we door bag the loose ironmongery, such as door handles, closers, etc., and coordinate the delivery with the door set. The door sets should be stacked inside the building on a level, dry floor. It is of the utmost importance that the storage conditions are tended to before the door sets arrive on site. The humidity of the storage space should be between 40 and 60%. This can be checked easily and measured with a hygrometer. Having the correct humidity on site ensures that the moisture content of the timber within the door sets can be maintained between 10 and 14%. It is time to distribute them throughout the rest of the building. This is easily arranged as each door and each frame are clearly marked with a unique project door reference number. The first task is to assemble the door frame. We factory mortise and fit most of the non-projecting ironmongery before your door set arrives. This is a simple process requiring that the frame be loosely assembled and then screwed at each corner to ensure the jam to the head joint is tight and secure. Care should be taken to make sure the shoulders are pulled in tight as this makes sure the frame rebate width is as accurate. Next is to check the frame size against the structural opening. During manufacture we will undercut the door to allow for the floor covering in each location along the required clearance. The frame is offered into the opening. Timber or other certified packers should be used at each fixing position and span the full thickness of the partition. The hanging jam should be fixed first ensuring it is plumb and square and ensuring that the margins at each side between the frame and opening are the same. Now that the hanging jam is secured into the opening Drop the door into its hinges and check that the door swings open fully and that there is a 3mm gap all round and enough floor clearance. For fire and smoke rated door sets, the clearance at the base of the door on top of the final floor covering cannot be any more than 3mm across the width of the door when in the closed position. Please refer back to the installation guide. When packing and filling the gap between the back of the frame and the wall, materials should be in line with BS8214 2016. If a door closer is part of the ironmongery requirement for the door set, then consideration should also be made to the fixing position of the bracket or track, and whether it is to be fitted onto the architrave or is the architrave to be notched. In order to maintain the correct dimensions between the closer and arm, it will be important to fix the head architrave in a position to suit. We can provide advice on this point if you are uncertain. We can now move on to fitting the ironmongery to the door set. As mentioned earlier, we will always fit most of the non-projecting ironmongery in the factory. This means that the hinges, lock case, lock strike plate, flush bolts and acoustic drop seals will always be fitted. If double action floor springs are required, or specialist items of non-projecting ironmongery, such as concealed closers or flush pulls, then we will cut out for these in the factory as well. Door closers should be fitted, making careful reference to the templates supplied with the closer. If you have decided to fit the closer arm bracket or track onto the architrave, then we recommend that a screw at least 44mm long is used to secure the bracket or track through the architrave direct to the frame head. Check that the arm runs level with the closer body. As long as you have followed the fitting template, then you won't have a problem. If your door has a pull handle and push plate arrangement, then you will need to drill two holes through the door to accommodate the steel fixing bolts. Particularly on fire-rated doors, the holes through the door need to be as snug fitting as possible. 
The bottom fixing hole should be no lower than 700 millimeters and no higher than 1000 millimeters above the floor. There is no official guidance for the horizontal margin of the pull handle position, so it may be wise to check with the project design team. We cannot cover every bit of ironmongery in this short video, so if there are any special pieces of ironmongery which you aren't clear on how to fix or adjust, just give us a call.